Thank you very much indeed. It's my pleasure to come to Geneva this morning to give a lecture. Well, the major changes, not only for the military, for our societies as such, I think is the fast changing world currently as we see it. And at the same time, everything happens. So it is digitalization. It is uh, the uh, demographic change. It is the change from Europe to Asia, the nuclear race, Africa, the refugees. So everything at the same time. And for the military, it means that the military has to uh, maintain the speed in order to cope with those changing challenges. I mean, in the old days, a Russian tank it took seven years to develop it and to bring it into action. Today, it takes twice as much. So I don't know exactly whether the contracts are complicated, whether the techniques are too complicated, or whether we are slower, mentally slower than the technical possibilities. So in order to maintain it, it is urgently required that you stay flexible. In other words, you've got to uh, adopt your structures and your procedures accordingly to the speed. It has something to do with the media. It has, it has something to do with fake news. It has something to do with cyber, cyber defense, cyber action. So these are brand new methods of war fighting symbols. And also, it is not only the military. I mean, I'm not only talking about tanks, aircraft and ships. We are talking about these artificial things that simply happens within the society. And I think the military has learned that they have to work together with all these agencies in order to understand what's going on. First of all, the institution as this one here in Geneva, it is so important to understand what's going on first. Secondly, that we stay committed to our roots or let's say to our value. And these values as a European and as a German in particular, I would describe as the values of freedom. So there was this American Revolution, there was the French Revolution in 1789, which brought us freedom. That means we have independence of law, very important. Government and law, I ask that they are independent. Secondly, that we maintain freedom of speech and gathering. The freedom of uh, free press is so important. Who else could control a government? Nobody. So if we maintain those and if we treat each other respectfully, then I do hope and I'm convinced that we can maintain sort of peace. But in this world, with is which is no longer bipolar or bipolar with Russia and America only. It has five centers right now. China comes on to Pakistan, India, Brazil, and all the newer developments. It is so difficult for the politicians to keep these five fingers together. But I think uh, we can do, and we have to convince people uh, from day to day that talking, uh, standing in for values is much better than shooting. First of all, stay agile, stay flexible, learn languages, go out and see the world, because we in Europe are no, no longer the center of gravity. The center of gravity has changed, maybe into the Arab world, maybe into the Chinese world, maybe into Africa, but definitely it has gone from Europe to the ease, let's put it in a global way. Learn languages in order to better understand the people and to, uh, to treat them respectfully and try to, to make the best cooperation as possible. In the end, we've got to uh, understand that um, we have to accept other ways of doing things. In the old days where I was growing up, it was 25% of the world population was European. Today it is 7% or less. Tomorrow it will be, uh, by 2030, it will be less than 5%. So, and 5% cannot dominate the world. I mean, that is obvious. So we've got to see and learn with the others and to adapt our way to cooperate, but peacefully. I mean, that is, that is the key, being peaceful and to change it uh, into a win-win situation. Mainly, I would suggest here in Geneva, where there is the hometown of the EU, uh, United Nations institutions, so many at least, that we are still on the right path, as our parents and grandparents has taught us. I mean, we should not forget there were two ugly 
world wars in the world, both starting in Germany. We had the ugly Nazi regime had killed more than five million Jewish people. So that is a way that we have learned that is no way to repeat it. It must not happen again. So we have learned our lection, and now we have to develop that the new danger is always coming. The devil is always calling, and we must fight him and we stay on the right course, stay uh, vigilant, and keep our and maintain our values. Mm -hmm.